move swiftly on to our cadet class and on pole position the number 23 of Charlie Wyatt lines up alongside the 20 of Catherine Potter. Then we've got David Mack and Lizzie Mentier. Three and four, Charlie Benson, Gracie Mitchell, five and six, Jared Fox Whiteley, seventh, Kian McLeod in eighth. Frankie Smedley, ninth, Stan Moore, Stans Moore Wilson is tenth, Sub King is eleventh, Thomas Potter, twelfth, Max Shields, thirteenth, Jake Borey, twelfth, uh, fourteenth, Finley Fishburn, fifteenth, and Jack Thompson, sixteenth. And we are Barely half the way through our class there. Connor Duddy, 17th, alongside Addison Smith. Oliver Watson and Jacob Giblet Lee, 19th and 20th, with Sophie Pawsey and Max Borey, 21st and 22nd. Felix Smedley will line up alongside William Howard in 23rd and 24th. Then we have Oliver Green, Josh Cook, and at the back of the pack, the number 94 of Ollie Paul, shown there on screen as being minus 53 places. So that's just because where he's finished in all the heats and then he returns to the back of the pack on each of our races because he is running a mini rock engine and testing that one out so in the number 94. Having won the O plate here last year in the 160 class, he will hand that to another driver at the end of this race. And on the front row, battling it out, will be Charlie Wyatt and Catherine Potter. Anyone really of the top 10 on this grid will be in the mix for this O plate and it will be action all the way down to the end if anything like the previous cadet races here today and throughout the season in 2019 at Teesside are anything to go by. We're just going to get the final few drivers into place which has been a uh, common theme with cadets. I think it's a issue with the uh, 94 coming in the field and then moving to the back of the pack in all of the heats and he will line up at the back in the 94 and with 12 with 10 laps we'll see whether he can make his way through to the front like he did in one of the heats earlier today everybody is in position the green flag marshal has the flag in hand and we are underway charlie wyatt in the 23 leads everybody away it's a good start by lizzie mentia off the second row and she's going to run right round the outside and she will slot into second place so it's Wyatt, Mentia, Potter, Mac is through, is down into fourth, Benson fifth, Mitchell is in sixth, she's going to dive down the inside of Benson, Benson's going to keep the cart there and, but we've got a couple of spinners, I think we've got the 22 round, going to have to wait and spin that round and make sure everybody is out of the way, Fox Whiteley spins from what was a good starting position in the top 10, well down towards the back of the field and his charge for an O plate has gone with inside a couple of corners. Charlie Wyatt though leads and will lead over the line for the first time from the fast starting Lizzie Mentier in the 50. <clears throat> Behind 20 of Catherine Potter, David Mack, Gracie Mitchell, Charlie Benson, Frankie Smedley, Kian McLeod, Seb Corkin and Max Shields round out the top 10 with Isabella Stansmore Wilson behind and Thomas Potter in 12th in his one of his first races with the 200 attached to that number 38 car having won the Bambino championship this year moves into cadets and takes the charge towards the top 10 in the number 38. <clears throat> Wyatt though has broken a gap out at the front as Catherine Potter looks to get past Lizzie Mentier in the 50, so we've got po we've got Wyatt, Mentia, Potter, Mack and Mitchell. There's Mitchell coming through in the bright yellow and green cart number 11 in the background. Had an excursion off the track earlier on in the heat up the bank and that dropped her down the grid and she started in sixth at the start of this race. Could have potentially been much nearer the front row if we hadn't have had a... Uh, near retirement in that race but Charlie Wyatt remains out the front four tenths unable to break free from the 50 of Lizzie Mentier in second Catherine Potter is third David Mack comes to the inside to defend Potter gets the run on Lizzie Mentier down the back straight and Catherine Potter is through into second place she'll now set off inside of the number 23 of Charlie Wyatt seven laps remaining as they'll come through over the line this time of this 10 lap cadet final. 
Gracie Mitchell has also found her way past the 16 of David Mack. She's up to fourth. Mack drops down to fifth. Benson is in sixth. <clears throat> Mack tries to return the move on the way out of the chicane. No can do this time. And Mitchell will move into fourth place. So it's Mitchell, Mack, and then Benson. Then there's a gap back to Frankie Smedley in the seven, with the 73, running in seventh with Seb Corkin, Kia McLeod, and Max Shield. <clears throat> with uh, Potter closing the gap at the front to Charlie Wyatt. It was three tenths over the line, but now she's managed to find her way past Mentia in the 50. She is hot on the heels of the number 23 of Charlie Wyatt, and these two battled it out for most of the 2019 season, along with uh, Ollie Buckton, Alex Mallard, Bella Franklin, David Mack, and Gracie Mitchell, those seven constant front runners three of those in Mallard, Buckton and Franklin have moved up and we have all four of the previous ones mentioned along with Lizzie Mentier running in the top five Mentier currently third Mitchell four Mack in fifth the three of them looking to work together to try and catch up as we've got Ollie Poole in the 94 <coughs> the sole mini rock out there on the track using his additional power to drive, try and get past the 54 of Kian McLeod, running currently in eighth place. There he does, doze down the inside. Frankie Smedley trying to take advantage as well in the 73 to get past McLeod. Round the outside as well goes Max Shields in the 18. and Quite a battle going on for, for eighth place. So Paul up into eighth, McLeod, Smedley and Shields. So Paul at some point will catch up to the battles for fourth, fifth and sixth and then the lead battle as well and then that will get him involved as the three at the back there find their way past the back marker and that has allowed Gracie Mitchell to move up into third from Lizzie Mentier. Mentier went one way, Mitchell the other, Mitchell got the drive and Mitchell moves up into third place and provisionally the final step on the podium for our cadet class. Out at the front though, it's a battle between Charlie Wyatt and Catherine Potter. Potter right on the back of Charlie Wyatt. Less than two tenths between the pair of them now. Ollie Paul puts in the fastest lap of the race, a 48.628. <clears throat> we are three and a half laps remaining. Gracie Mitchell working hard to try and close the gap to the front two, wants to be there when it matters in three laps time. Signals back to Mentia to try and <clears throat> stay with her and work together to try and close the gap as the front two will inevitably start to battle it out sometime soon. I'm not sure Mentia wants to stay there in fourth place. I think she can see her potential third and a trophy coming her way in the 50 as she attacks the, the 11 of Gracie Mitchell through the sweeping bends, over the start line, into the bus stop chicane and round the national loop. We've got four laps remaining of, or three now, as the leaders have gone through. Three laps remaining of ten. And it's Charlie Wyatt at the head of the field, coming under pressure from the 20 of Catherine Potter. And as we've seen in both of our previous races, it really isn't over until right at the end. Wyatt has gone to the inside to try and defend Potter's going to try and go back to the inside. Wyatt in his bright yellow helmet. Oh, and something's fell off a cart in front there, and they're both going to slow down in front of them. It's going to give Potter a chance to run. It looked like a chain guard had been discarded off a cart and is currently finding itself on the outside of hairpin number three, as is Josh Cook. He's stopped on the, out, on the inside of hairpin four in the number three, and that's closed up the front view. Gracie Mitchell's going to try and run right round the outside through the chicanes, as is David Mack. As we start catching up now, the extra two laps means that we're going to play, have more back markers into play here at Teesside for the final cadet meeting of the year. Wyatt and Potter, though, nose to tail, as they have been from around about lap three. They go round hairpin number four. That chain guard's still there. Make sure nobody hits that, and it's quite a big, chunky bit of plastic to sit over the chains on these cadet carts. 
will come over the line. The last lap board is out. And Charlie Wyatt leads from Catherine Potter. And they'll come through very shortly into the first chicane. It's still Wyatt leading the way. Ollie Poole in the 94 is closing through. He's currently all up to fourth from the back of the field in that mini rock. Half a lap and Catherine Potter's going to try and go to the inside. Wyatt's defending round the south bank and into hairpin number three for the final time. Wyatt goes to the inside. Nothing that Potter can do. Wyatt's going to defend as well down the inside. I think he's going to take this one. Gets the power down. Comes through, through the two sweeping bends and the 23 of Charlie Wyatt comes through to take the, to take the O plate in cadet from Catherine Potter right on the line. Ollie Paul gets third in the end. Gracie Mitchell gets class third in extreme with a fourth place overall from David Mack and Lizzie Mentier. Charlie Benson, Seb Corkin, Kian McLeod and Max Shields. Isabella Stansmore Wilson gets 10th in class in extreme from Thomas Potter at the end in the number 38 and Frankie Smedley in the 73. All of our cadets almost through. We've got a uh, couple more to take the chequered flag. <coughs> then we've got a uh, our class winner and our 2019 O plate champion, the number 23 of Charlie Wyatt. Started on pole position and led from start to finish in a commanding victory. Came under pressure halfway through from Catherine Potter, but there was nothing she could do to stop the 23 of Wyatt from taking the victory. In he comes for the final time in 2019. And he'll be able to run the O plate on that cart here at Teesside for the 2020 season, which starts on the 23rd of February 2020. And will run for nine rounds over seven weekends. Handshake there for our race winner from one of our circuit owners, Bob Pope. Just uh, congratulating the winner as he comes up and over the Weybridge. <coughs> So that is cadets out of the way. We now have two remaining races. It is senior pro car and senior row tax. So two more O plates up for grabs. Four already handed out to Edward Haynes in cadets.